right, so we got us another brew day. It is a beautiful day today. I woke up extra early to brew this beer, but uh, here's the ingredients we got here. I got my uh, malt and grains, nine, pull, nine pounds of two row, uh, one and a half pounds of honey malt, one and a half pounds of caramel crystal 40. Uh, we can drop in lemon drop. El Dorado, Cashmere, Laurel, Strata, Galaxy. Uh, we're gonna be adding a little adjuncts of blueberry honey and uh, blueberry extract powder during the boil. So, uh, yeah. We'll wait for our temperature to get up. We're at 117. We're gonna do it at one. We're going to mash in at 160. Alright, the temperature got up to about 160. We went ahead and dropped it, stirred it in. Uh, it's a little bit higher than 150, but uh, we opened the bag up, stirred the grains in. And uh, you want to, after you stir it up real good, get, you know, make sure you don't get any clumps. Cause every once in a while, you're, you're going to want to just push it up and down like this. This, uh, I'll put about four and a half gallons in here to start with this, uh, no, maybe I put a little bit, maybe I put three and a half, a half, well, you just going to want to go up and down like this, kind of give it a good mixture, especially when you're using a bag, you know, it's like a big tea, you're making teas here, so. All there is to it. You just do that every once in a while, and we do it for an hour. I'm doing mine at uh, 150. It's a little bit higher now, but it'll drop, fluctuate a little bit. You don't want to go below. Typically, you don't want to go below 147 because I'm trying to do extract as much sugar as I can out of this bad boy because I'm making a blueberry IPA. All right, so. <coughs> We're gonna be picking some fresh blueberries off the old blueberry tree. They're not quite ripe, but <clears throat> we don't want them to be too ripe because then the sugars are gonna start to ferment. I'm actually gonna add this in 15 minutes with the last 15 minute hop addition during the boil. Give it that blueberry extra blueberry touch. Uh, my blueberry tree little buddy over here has got some mixing some of these bad boys in there too. Got some blueberries on it, but uh, yeah, everything in this batch is 100% uh, uh, from the USA. But uh, just figured I'd want to mention that. Uh, you know, it's cool to brag that your country uh, bought everything in your beer. So I'm leave it here in a beer. So I got some of these here blueberries. I picked some dry ones, some fresh ones. I just some of them dried because they got 105 degrees out, so I just went ahead and got those. And I'm gonna, <sighs> I failed to mention this earlier, but uh, I'm going to be making a blueberry lemonade IPA. So I'm going to be putting some uh, lime or lemon zest in with here, about two tablespoons. Got my zester over here. Well, we just, you know zest it across there and put it in here and then we're gonna add it in the last addition here all right so i zested about three-fourths of this bad boy uh zest on the lemon can go a long way this is a blueberry uh, leaf by the way i just figured i'd throw it in there to fuck it a little bit of zest will go a long way so i only used about one teaspoon of zest for a five gallon batch but I'm gonna be dropping it in with the last edition of hops which I think I gotta double check at my uh, what I wrote down I think a lemon I mixed lemon drop and uh, El Dorado at the end but I'm not a hundred percent sure but you'll find out here shortly all right so we got it down uh, we got her steeped or uh, brewed we got her mash water right here it's a little bit lower than I was Hope of course, sitting at 140, but that should be high enough. Uh, it is what it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and start sparging these grains. I got my little shifty device here. Just 
Just rinse the leaves green so I can get the excess sugar off of there. And then 140 is probably going to be fine. I've heard of people not even... Not even uh, using hot water. But uh, it's got some temperature to it. It should be alright. I was supposed to be at 170, but... We'll check the sugars. I, it's a little, little low. It is what it is. All right. Let's see here when she rapidly boils. So we sparged it, and now we're gonna add some extra sugar to try and mimic a blueberry grain per se with some Amish made in America honey. Some. made in America blueberry powder I'm gonna be using about the whole thing so 3.5 ounces all right so we're gonna dump this in there mix her in all right so we're finally at a boil 212 light boil and we're gonna add some of these strata hops or uh, dried flowers. I'm gonna describe the smell for you. Ooh. Tropical lemon <sighs> with a bright earthy smell. These are really hard to find. It took me forever to find these bad boys. Putting half this bag in. Ah, look at them bad boys. So, yeah, we're at a boil. So we're just going to add half this bag. So this is a two-ounce bag, I believe. It's a lot for two ounces, but that's what they said. So we're just going to add half of these. I got a new strainer, so... Be able to strain the hops out. I don't need a hop bag anymore. Let's see here. Half a little more. This beer is registering in at 170 IBU, so I'm interested to see. I'm adding seven different. Hops. So half, a little bit more. All right. And then we'll add these cashmere's in. Says aroma, melon, lemon, lime, spice. Let's see what she smells like. These are pellets, so I'm not sure you can see the pellets in there, but these have more of an orange tropical. Both of these. I believe the cashmere was supposed to be a smooth bitterness and the strat is going to be a balanced bitterness. So it's going to be a, a smooth but balanced bitterness according to everything I read on the internet. But let's dump these in here. This is a one ounce packet. So let's go ahead and dump all those in here. We just, this is a bittering addition right here. So uh, they're stirred in there nicely. Ooh. Got a nice little bubble going there on that boil. You got a nice stir going on in there. Get these hops incorporated in and get it a good whiff. Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting bright, earthy, tropical. Bright, earthy, tropical right now. All right, we'll see you guys here in a 30-minute edition. All right, so we're on our 30-minute edition of hops, and we're going to be dropping one ounce of Galaxy. look like uh, they're smaller pellets than the last one let's uh, see what they smell like Ooh, like a lemon lime bright
bright lemon lime, dank, floral. It's almost like a sprite and flower made sweet love. Ooh, that's good. So we're gonna drop this ounce in here. disintegrated awful fast. Sugar doesn't even need to smell like. Yeah, it smells I like the galaxy. Give her a good stir. Get those get those uh good old hops working and twerking. Describe this scent here, and then we'll be on our 15 minute edition of Hop Loonies. All right, let's give her a scent. Ooh, it's got so much malty to it. Ah, floral background. Sweet malty floralness right now, boys and girls. We'll uh, see here at the 15 minute edition. We dropped the Werp Lock, the blueberries, the <coughs> lemons, and the last edition of hops. So we got about 15 minutes left in this here boil, and we're going to throw this Werp Lock in. There she goes. Look, it'll help with that clarity. About five minutes here, I'm gonna add the last edition of hops, so it'll be a 10 minute. Last 10 minute there. So we're at our last edition of hops here. We're gonna add one ounce, so half this bag of lemon drop hops. And then we're gonna add one ounce of El Dorado hops, half this bag. This is our Roma edition, so I'll give you a little what they smell like. This is the El Dorado. Step away from that, because I can smell that beer too. Ooh, that's in my nose there. Ooh, lemon. This El Dorado smells lemon. Bright lemon. Bright lemon dank. That's the El Dorado. Let's see what the lemon drops smell like. Ooh. I'm getting more of a, a lemon, uh, earthy lemon. Ooh. That smells good. And we also got our... Uh, our little mixture. A little spice mixture. Blueberries and... Uh, the old lemon, uh, that was called, uh, whatever. And I'm going to add a little bit of cactus powder to help with the yeast because it gave me a really good, powerful yeast when I use this uh, cactus powder. So I'm going to use one ounce of this with it. So I'm going to be dropping all this stuff in now. I'm going to go ahead and drop in my, my spashes first. Blue baby. Damn, that just uh, took up the. Uh, that just took it up a notch. I got some blueberries. I got there's some lemon in the get out of there. All right, got this little splashes. We're gonna add half this baggie right here. Make sure I got the right one. I got some of these lemon drops. So we got about half this. So I lied, it's 130 IBUs, which is about half, Maybe a little bit more. The human palate can only taste up to 100, but we're going, well, I haven't added the dry hops in yet, but without dry hops, it's at 130, so it's a little bit higher than what they say the human 
taste buds can taste but none of these hops have any sort of pine or uh, let me pop the bag a little bit more pine or grapefruit so those are very bold flavors so I'm just thinking I could step it up a notch and you know reach down in there and get some of these good flavors out but uh yeah I'm gonna drop in some more hops here at flame out so uh, here in about 10 minutes I'm gonna be dropping some more in I'll see you here in a bit just, well let me just give you a smell this and see what it smells like Ooh, it's got an earthy melon smell now it smells pretty damn good all right all right, we're at our flame out edition. We're gonna have these one ounce of laurels and the rest of this here, strata. Ah, it smells so good. I'm not gonna cut this bag. So this is, uh, I guess this would be a type of a aroma edition, maybe. I'm gonna cut the bag. But Mm, dried up pretty good. <laughs> Half that bag. That's the stratus flowers. So this is a this is a hoppy pea batch. For sure. This is super hot. Let's see what it smells like. You know, you can't get a, it's got a real floral aroma. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, that last edition just made it, gave it a little spice. Gave it a little spice to it. All right, well, we're gonna cool this down and pitch the yeast, bro. So instead of wasting the water, cause we are in a drought, I got my thing, I got my uh, uh, chiller hooked up. I accidentally forgot to sanitize it, so I had to stick it, in, stick it in there for a couple minutes, but I got it running through this cooler of ice. Just using this extra water to water my garden a little bit and uh, not waste it because we are in a drought. Actually, it killed the, all my ochre. Stop! Get! So... Yeah, we're gonna be doing this for a little while. Get! But I got some stuff, so we're Boomer! Alrighty, we'll see what you're pitching as a yeast. Alright, we got her down to temp. We got our sample over here. We're gonna get in a second. Uh, first, let's get this yeast in there. Get her closed up. <sighs> got the SO, we're gonna do two packs of SO5. I'm gonna sprinkle it on top and uh, put that cap on right there. Got everything sanitized up. All right, peace. Alrighty, so let's check this here. All right, let's see where we're sitting. Wow, 1060 looks like. It's a little low. Oh well. Give her a taste. We're shooting for 10, 1070, so. Should have probably added about another pound of honey. So it's gonna be reaching on the 7%, but. Wow.
all that hot is just balance each other out completely. Get a hint of blueberry and the lemon. Although I primed it with a little bit more blueberry and lemon, so hopefully that flavor will come out a little bit more. But let's see what happens. We got her all racked up. I'm gonna put a uh, longer one on there. I just needed something to put on there for now. But yeah, see you when we bottle her up. Check out the fermentation, one or the other.